Okay, hello again everybody. Okay, so today we are going to do a cold case read that's been requested by a subscriber. And after she sent me some information, um, this is from Desiree, and she sent me some information regarding this case and I read over some of the information. I don't want to read it all, but enough just to get a feel for, you know, this lady that I'm about to read and you know stuff like that so I can connect better with her and the woman I'm going to read is Jennifer Kesse 24 years 24 years old okay missing since January 23rd 2006 from Orlando Florida okay now apparently she is still not found um, and the the police I guess have ran out of leads regarding her okay now apparently um she went on a vacation the weekend before she went missing she went on a vacation to the virgin islands with her boyfriend um apparently they returned on the sunday night and she stayed at her boyfriend's place instead of going home for whatever reason and from there she went straight to work apparently on monday morning um Monday later on I guess that that day she left work at approximately 6 p.m. so we know that it didn't nothing happened with her at her boyfriend's place when they came back from this vacation because she went to work the next morning and she left work at 6 p.m. on the 23rd of January okay now apparently on her way driving home she spoke with her dad at 6 15 p.m. as she was driving home then the last time anybody heard from her was at 10 p.m. that night when she was, I would assume, going to bed. Okay, now she, she was a finance manager of a local timeshare for condos, and she had recently bought a condo herself, okay? Now, so from what we know, the last person to speak with her was her boyfriend. Apparently, from what the boyfriend stated, the boyfriend was interviewed and from what he said that she had always called her, him or text him in the morning before going to work okay <clears throat> now the next morning which would be the 24th the boyfriend didn't get a text nothing from her before she was to leave to go to work okay and i guess he didn't think nothing of it because apparently from what was from the, the police who interviewed him he said that he didn't think nothing of it because she had mentioned some kind of early morning meeting so he he was figuring she was just too preoccupied but it kind of concerns me because she always called him before going to work now this is going to come into play okay because she didn't this morning now the police are saying that once she was reported missing that they went to her condo and there was a wet towel and her clothes were laid out to get dressed now they think the police think that she was on her way to work when something happened to her i don't believe that i don't believe that for this reason the boyfriend was interviewed and whatever they did he has an alibi where he was and everything what I find strange is she always texted or messaged or called or something. He didn't get that. And she did that just before she'd leave to go to work. He didn't get that. Okay? So to me, that paired with there was a wet towel and her clothes laid out tells me that something happened before she left that apartment to go to work. It happened in the apartment, I believe, in my opinion only. And I say that because obviously the wet towel, she had a shower before going to work. It could have been her part of her main routine, okay? Her clothes were laid out. That's what the police said they found when they went in. So if her clothes were laid out, that means she didn't get a chance to get dressed into her work clothes that she had laid out go to work something happened in between her getting out of the shower and her getting dressed for work in my opinion 
that would coincide with she would probably have her shower get dressed for work and then text her boyfriend i'm on her way to work she never got to the point to get dressed you don't lay out clothes that you're not about to wear i know me personally the clothes i get out of getting into the shower are thrown into a laundry basket or thrown on the floor in a corner or something they're not laid out on the bed so i believe in my honest opinion the clothes laid out on the bed were her work clothes those were there she didn't have a chance to get dressed to go to work and that's why she didn't get a chance to message her boyfriend something happened between the time she got out of the shower because the towel was wet and the time she went to get dressed okay now I, as you all know I did work for a private investigation for a long time I pay close attention to detail okay why the police have the theory that she something happened to her on the way to work I have no idea she went to work I uh, I have no idea why they have that theory okay I believe something happened between the time she got out of the shower and by the time she was getting dressed something happened in that time frame okay she now okay so the, so that morning she never made it to work and no one heard from her okay she did not arrive to work that next morning okay so what else do i got here okay i got the okay so on January 24th, the Orlando Police Department searches, okay? They have search parties on foot, horseback, boat, helicopter, car, ATVs. Nothing's to be found. Boyfriend was the last one to talk to her at 10 p.m. the night before. Okay? So that would have been the Monday. The Tuesday, she didn't arrive to work. So the boyfriend talked to her last at 10 p.m. on the Monday night. And like I said... Because her clothes were laid out, still laid out, those were clothes that she was intending, I believe, to wear to work. She never got there. She never even got to get dressed for work, okay? So, the boyfriend says that um, she always checked, it, it texted her, whatever. She, she didn't. She didn't get to that point yet. So, I'm uh, already my intuitive, okay, is telling me something happened between getting into the shower and about to get dressed for work okay we're going to get into the read we're going to do a read on it but i want to put this out here because i want to see what comes out in these cards okay so two days later okay so so in between the, the last time she was seen which was on the 23rd and the time they believe she went missing which would be the morning of the 24th because she had her shower but didn't make it to work on the tuesday okay which would be the 24th now the the and her car wasn't there so i'm assuming that's why the police figured oh she went uh, it happened on the way to work because her car's not there and the, it, I, the, this is why i have a problem with people that jump to conclusions and like especially in my uh, i'm not going to say which read but there's a read that i did Oh, these people have been arrested and this is why because this is what one brother said no there's more to it than that don't jump to conclusions until the full picture is there in front of you okay and this is why i don't do that there's always more what you see and what you find out within the first 72 hours there's always more okay so now i'm assuming and this is only me assuming sometime between when she went missing and, the, and two days later, the police put out some kind of missing persons with a picture of her car. Somebody from just like a mile down the road says, hey, I seen that car. It's, it's been sitting here for a couple days. You know, it, it looks abandoned. So, the police go back and they get CCTV footage. And on that footage of the day that, that the, 20, the 24th, when she didn't show up for work, you know, with the towel on the bed and whatever, the 24th, a male was seen 
parking the car there, getting out and walking away. Okay? Police dogs traced the scent from that car back to, what's her name? Jennifer's apartment. Okay? So, I would take that as whatever happened at that apartment, he went back either to do something or to clean something up. And I think because the car was only found uh, or seen drop, being dropped off at noon and she went missing first thing in the morning, I think he used her own car to dispose of her somewhere. Okay? And I would assume that he used some kind of force or some kind of threat to get her into her car and drive away because it was in broad daylight. It would have been in the morning. People would have seen if he was carrying out a dead body. Okay? And she wasn't found in the apartment. She hasn't been found. So I believe that whatever happened during her sh after her shower, before she could get dressed into her work clothes, I believe she was forced into her car. He took her somewhere. He's done something to her. And then he dropped the car off at noon, a mile away in this, in this complex parking lot, walked back to Lauren's to do whatever because there was no forced entry. Another thing that is very suspicious is there was valuables in her car that weren't taken. So this wasn't a robbery. Now, when something like this happens, my first clues are there was no robbery. There was nothing really taken from her apartment of value. This is personal. Now, the last bit that I know is that the police are saying robbery was not a motive. I agree. The boyfriend that she went on vacay with, vacation, has been eliminated as a suspect. And there was an ex-boyfriend, okay, wanting her back. But he has also been cleared, okay? Now, apparently there was also somebody she worked with that wanted to have a relationship with her. And she, uh-uh, no interest whatsoever. I don't know if he's been interviewed, that guy. I don't know. But what has also been said is the complex had been under construction. And apparently there was workers that were working in her complex, condo, area, whatever, that had been like, I call it sexual harassment, cat calling and whistling and hey baby type thing to her recently. Now, when this was told to the police, this is where... I have a big problem and this is from a new statement that police said and it does not sit well with me. Police say that they were made aware of she was being harassed by these workers. The police say the workers were some kind of foreigners that spoke a different language, Spanish, whatever. So they couldn't get much information from them because of the language barrier. Are you effing kidding me? Get an interpreter. Don't tell me that the Orlando Police Department does not have interpreters. I have a problem with that. Okay? Too much work for them? I don't know. But this is going back to 2006. Those guys are long gone. Which kind of worries me about this case being solved. The Orlando Police Department said they could not get much information from these construction workers because of the language barrier. I have a problem with that. Okay. Now, from what I understand, in 2010, the FBI has taken over the case from the Orlando Police Department. That Jennifer is on the FBI's most wanted and missing list. And the last search for her was in February 2014 and before I even do this I know this is going to be a very hard case for them to find her and there goes 
all the goosey bumps like I don't know if you can see this look at the hair look at the hair all standing up on my arms and I've got goosebumps from you know where okay I have a big problem with what the police stated that they couldn't really talk to a lot of them and get much information from these guys because of the language barrier I have a problem with that okay so we're going to jump into this reading and I'm going to say at here we go with the, the goosebumps again like I told you you guys when I get full body goosebumps I think down the line she will be found and how she's going to be found is going to be a pure fluke and the intuition I'm getting it's going to be her body is going to be found in a, in a place and we're going to see if it comes out in the cards and I'm going to shuffle here because I've said so much information I'm going to shuffle here so you guys can see everything okay because I've been told that you're not somebody's not seeing me shuffling and taking the top card or whatever so I'm going to do it I've moved things around a bit okay what I am getting is where she has been buried, and I, I feel it's a, a shallow enough grave. There's going to be something happen in that area that she's going to be dug up by accident. Nobody knows she's there. Okay? And I feel it's not going to be a large construction site like buildings or apartments or, or complexes. I'm getting the feeling that it's going to be some kind of help center or something, something along them lines. Like I can't pinpoint it, but it's going to be some kind of help center or help housing something to help people that are in need i feel is going to be built oh whoa on this area where her, her body is buried and that's how they're going to find her Ooh. oh my gosh like i don't know if you guys can see this but my whole body legs included if you could see this is such big goosebumps that you wouldn't believe okay so that's what i'm getting so now we're going to get into the read and i'm going to ask my ancestors to please connect um let me just get her name back up here as you guys know my my short-term memory is very okay <laughs> and i hope does that i'm saying her last name right jennifer kessie I'm asking my ancestors to connect, please, with Jennifer Cassie, 24 years old. She's been missing since January 23rd, 2006 from Orlando, Florida. Please help us with the situation regarding her. Any information that you can help us with to maybe locate where she is, maybe who did this. If you can give us the situation way too many cards oh sorry guys but that was just way too many and I just baby powdered my cards again another um, subscriber had told me baby card baby baby card them baby powder them and they are as you can see sliding around a lot better okay so I've got to be mindful of this to keep my hands over here. So I'm going to ask the ancestors, please connect with Jennifer Kessie. Please give us the situation regarding her going missing. January 23rd, 2006 from Orlando, Florida. Can you please tell us the situation regarding Jennifer Kessie? We go. Just gonna move this a bit. 
making sure on my camera here that you guys can see everything okay so this is the situation this is the main part of the situation this is what we got to look into deeper and this is what's in the secret position so what we don't know yet or what hasn't come out yet okay so right away look at what i get she was taken down the road okay i see some traveling here down the road okay so this did not happen at her place of residence she was taken elsewhere okay so that's why i gave the information that i gave before because some people are saying i'll be in my description it's i read up on it afterwards and, and i make it up in the cards so i gave you the information that i know before i did the reading and here it is right here it, it didn't happen at her condo it happened elsewhere she was taken down the road and that came out that is the main part of the situation with what we got to look deeper into we get neglect so there's some kind of neglect that happened in this situation and i get light okay and the light card tells me that this was done in broad daylight this tells me a broad daylight okay in plain sight When did it happen? In the morning, in plain daylight. Okay? So, let's go in and I'm asking my ancestors if you could please reveal the messages from Jennifer Kessie. What messages would Jennifer like us to know? Could she tell us what happened? Maybe where she is? Any indications and clues where she is? Ask my ancestors to connect with Jennifer Kessie for the messages that she would like us to know. What messages would Jennifer? My card's upside down. Some of them are. What Jennifer Kessie? Oh, would like us to know. Ask the ancestors for the messages regarding Jennifer Cassie. Ancestors. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's. Ow! There's about seven cards that popped out. That's just too many. Oh, I'm sorry. the ancestors for the messages regarding Jennifer Cassie Okay, you guys, here's messages. So, like I've said, this is the main part of the situation. This is what we got to look into deeper. And this is what we don't know yet. Okay? What's being hidden. So we're going to start at the top. She's saying goodbye. This is a goodbye to the physical world. That's at the head of the situation. Okay? And at the end... We've got that she's an angel, so she she has been killed, okay? Now, over here we have alive. So she's talking about when she was alive, okay? She was still alive when she was taken. That's what that's telling me, okay? And she was taken by a guy that's classified as a snake, okay? Or there's a snake involved in this. We all know what a snake is, you know? It's like you're having problems with your boyfriend and your best friend is sitting there, oh my God, how can I help you? You gotta get rid of him and just because she wants her boyfriend. Stuff like that, and that's hypothetical. That's not what I'm saying is happening in this situation. I'm just explaining about the snake. So there was a snake involved, okay? And this is while she was still alive. 
we're going to go into the clarification that's going to help us decipher all this and it will all fit together so she's saying that when she was taken from her place down this road she was still alive okay but in the end it ended with her death she's saying goodbye here to the physical world okay and the snake somehow was involved we're going to get clarification on that so now in the secret position we got the neighbor now this can be a neighbor it could be it could also mean people that are close to you that you see on the daily this could be somebody in your neighborhood but i also got the distance card okay so i'm getting that this what we don't know yet this is somebody that was at a distance from her okay this is either either somebody that has is now far away or somebody that she wasn't close to we're going to get clarification but i get the neighbor so this is somebody that is either a neighbor was somebody that was always around her or somebody from the neighborhood and it happened in broad daylight okay so i'm seeing where this is going but I'm going to wait for the clarification. Okay, and this card flew out. It was the one card. If there's one, two, maybe three, I'll, I'll take them. But when a bunch throw, fly out, it's just, it's, an, it's my error. It's not her. Because I believe cards that fly out is something that whoever I'm reading wants us to know. And they don't think that it's going to come out in the reading. Okay? So, here we go. That's my ancestors. For clarification into the situation which is these three bottom cards regarding jennifer Ketsey. it's the ancestors to connect with jennifer to give us clarification on these situation cards regarding her disappearance it's the ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding jennifer kessie When I go to stop shuffling guys and you see cards like do that to me like that, it's, that's my cue to not stop shuffling yet. Let's see, ancestors for clarification into the situation. There are way too many. There's like five cards there, guys. And I believe that's my fault. Let's see, ancestors for clarification into the situation regarding Jennifer Cassie. part of the situation main part of the situation this is the situation this is the main part so in the main part <clears throat> I got that she was taken away from where she was okay and we know by the evidence that her car was taken away I believe she was taken away because there was no sign of a murder happening in that apartment either from what I know okay yeah I could be wrong and this tells me that when she was taken she was thrown away she was tossed away like yesterday's garbage okay so this clarifies for me that she was killed after she was taken away okay in the situation that we got to look deeper into i get neglect and i get gossip so i think because this is what we got to look into deeper i think that there was a lot of things being said and police maybe took it as gossip and they neglected to follow up on it. I don't know. We'll find out more about why this is here when we've got the full read. 
I've also got the celebrate. Okay, this celebrate could mean there was a big celebration. This could also mean that whoever did this is celebrating their victory over what they did. Or they are proud of themselves for what they did. They're, they're celebrating it in some kind of way. Okay? Or it could mean that this person attended a celebration after what happened in broad daylight. Okay? But this will all make sense. Okay? So now I'm going to ask the ancestors to connect with Jennifer Kesse for clarification into the messages that she has brought out for us. Ask the ancestors to connect with Jennifer Kesse for clarification into the messages regarding her disappearance. Ask the ancestors to connect with Jennifer Kesse for clarification into the messages regarding her disappearance. Okay. Okay. So, like you know, we got to look into this. Uh, this is the main part of the situation. We got to look into this deeper, and this is what we don't know yet. Okay. So, we're going to start at the top. This is all obvious because we know she went missing and she hasn't been found. She's still missing with the goodbye to the physical world, okay? So she's not going to be found alive. She's left the physical world and she's still missing, which means they haven't found her yet. Okay, something about when she was alive and they know, okay? So this tells me while she was alive, she knew of something that was going on that maybe she was afraid of or maybe um, she told people of certain things that were going on I know she told people about this person at work that was interested in her and about these cat call things okay so she's telling me about when she was alive that people know so she's basically telling us that it's one or the other because she's told people about this she's told people about this person Okay, that either was making advances towards her or it could be the cat call thing going on at the construction site. But she's telling me that when she was alive, she let people know. And whoever, and there could be other things that were going on also that she told other people that I'm not aware of. But she's telling me that she's told people, they know because she has spoken about this person that did this to her. Okay, with this snake, now I told you what a snake is. It's also a trickster. So I'm getting with this, that the snake is not only a snake, but the snake is a trickster. <clears throat> so what I'm getting from that is this trickster has done things, I guess, to maybe throw people off on this. This person is the one who did it. He's a snake. But he's also a trickster, and I feel that he's done things to throw off the investigation. <clears throat> okay. I get the guilty card with the neighbor. She's telling me that either a neighbor, somebody very close to her that she, she spent a lot of time around, or somebody that was in the neighborhood is guilty of doing this that we don't know yet. We don't know about it yet. Now there's two people that I know off the bat that are coming to me intuitively. Hmm. Interesting that I'm getting. I'm just taking this in because I'm getting some intuitive stuff. Hmm. Let's see if you guys can get the same thing that I'm getting. Now, don't forget, this is in a situation we don't know nothing about. Something about wealth, but about distance. So this is telling me it's either somebody that she kept at a distance or was keeping at a distance. 
who was wealthy. This isn't speaking of her wealth, okay? Because we know about her. This person was also pretty well off. And it's somebody that she was keeping at a distance. <laughs> okay? And I get this person. This is not, this can be grandparents. This can be somebody that you've known in the past, like way long ago, that has come forth. But this is telling me that this is somebody older than her. Very much older than her. Who was also wealthy, that she was keeping at a distance, that she was around a lot. And is a snake and a trickster. So, going into this. We've got this older person. We've got gossip. So there was gossip about her or there's gossip about him that's still going around. And this, I think, it, the neglect is I think that law enforcement has neglected to listen. I have always said, in every lie, there's a bit of truth. So I think that law enforcement has neglected to find those truths within the gossip. And that's why she hasn't been found and that's why she's still missing. But this is an older person that was well off. I'm not saying he's a billionaire or anything, but he was well off. That she was keeping at a distance. That she was around a lot and he's guilty of her going missing. This person is also known to people, and I think this is part of his character. This person's a snake and also a trickster. So a trickster is going to do anything that they can to get you to believe what they want you to believe. And being that he's also a snake, it's somebody that goes behind your back and does things or pretends to be doing good for you but really has their own hidden agenda. And he's also a trickster. But I'm getting up here, they know. She has talked about this person to people around her. I think they should be looking towards her work. Because I'm getting money. I'm, I'm getting wealth regarding this person who is much older than her. That she was keeping at a distance. But I'm also getting money. So it's talking about money. Where do you make money? You make money at work. Right? Because I got the guilty card there too. I think this is somebody at work that, or had this done, somebody from her work had something to do with this. Okay, before I look at that card, I want to go into, who's this trickster? Is this somebody that was very close to her? Somebody that wanted a romantic interest in her? Like, why is that trickster and snake card in the main situation? Why is it there? Is that who did it? What could, can you tell me about this trickster card? <coughs> Bart. Now the birth card could mean a physical birth or this could mean something new. So, whoever this trickster is was recently brought into her life. So, could it be somebody from this construction site that has now gone back to wherever they're from? It could very well be. It could be somebody who was not just a worker, but maybe an owner. So with this coming out, something that was just new, personally, in my opinion, they should look at the workplace and at those construction workers that were there. And this person is going to be much older than her. 
So I believe she was 24 when she went missing. This person would have been much older than her at 24. Okay? Which means they're going to be much older now. Okay? Because it was a long time ago. But at the time of her disappearance, and I'm going to say she's gone because she said she's left the physical world, this person was a lot older than her. So, if this person that was harassing her at work was this person, I would look into it. Or somebody on that job site that was doing work in that complex that had money. So I'm, I'm assuming that this wasn't was just one of the migrant workers. This might have been somebody that was part owner or something of that company that was very, you know, had some wealth. Okay? And I'm seeing here, because when I asked about this trickster, I was trying to narrow this down. Was this somebody who has now gone in a distance? Because I got the traveling too. Has he gone back to where he's from? Or is he far away from where this happened now? Or is this somebody that she kept at a distance? But I got it was something new. So, which one? I got new trickster and snake. So this tells me it was somebody fairly new that had came into her life. So the person that was harassing her at work, was he somebody that newly came into the workplace? If he was, I would look into it. I would still look into it, but I definitely would look into that because this guy was so much older than her. And if that's not the case of this guy that was harassing her at work, I would look into this construction site. And this person is no longer in the area. They're gone and they had money. So they weren't one of the migrant workers. This person would have been somebody that was like a foreman or somebody that wasn't just a, a what do you call it, a gopher, like a, a laborer. This is somebody that had money. So that's why I'm saying it. it has to be somebody that was involved with either owning the business or owning the site where things were being built. Something to do with that because they had money. So this wasn't just one of the migrant workers. Okay, so now we're going to go to this card. Secrets. Okay. So I'm saying it's in the secret position that there was somebody that is holding on to secrets. Maybe that they know. It could be within this complex thing that's going on. But there's secrets being held. Regarding this. Somebody knows something and they're still keeping it secret to this day. And it has to do with this person. Okay. So that's my read on this, you guys. I'm sorry uh, that I went into so much detail at the beginning, but I'm tired of the, you know, haters out there saying that I'm not showing the cards as I'm shuffling. I'm not showing them as I put them down. I'm, I'm just making it up. I'm just, ugh. that's why I went in depth about what I did know before doing the reading to see what came out. And that's what came out. Okay. And this is my interpretation of what came out. And I'm saying that it's either that guy from work or somebody from this construction that was going on around the time of her death. Okay? And I am saying with 100% that she was taken from that apartment while she was alive. And she was forced to go somewhere with this person. And he did. He threw her away like yesterday's trash which tells me the intuitive I got before even this reading, if she's not going to be found until they go to dig that site for something that I believe is going to be, I don't, I don't know how to express what I'm feeling. It's like a, a place for people to go to get help. It's not going to be some big, huge building like a hospital or something like that. It's going to be something smaller scale that is, to help people maybe with addictions or something like that or abused women or you know like they have those little places where people can go for help that's what I think that's where it, it's going to be a small 
something that's going to be built because I feel she's buried and she's not buried deep and that's when she's going to be found and I don't find it's going to be really soon but she's going to be found that's what I'm getting okay so that's my read on it I ask you guys to if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe bell that uh, subscribe bell subscribe button hit the notification bell so you are made aware of when I go and do lives because I do have lives now and then they're going to be pop-up um, during times that I can set some si some ti time aside to do some live question and answers for you guys that you can ask me personal questions with the pendulum or um, a card pull from my talking to heaven cards okay so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already please hit the notification bell hit that like too if you've liked this read and please share this out where you can i appreciate you all for being here and until the next time please stay safe and take care of yourselves until then until i see you the next time bye bye for now